The next to Newburyport is tomorrow. But I must head on to Arkham. Okay, now we are he here in the in the devil's nest. Yeah. Hello. Hello. What kind of goods do you sell here? We have a little bit of everything. Drinks, food, Magazines, souvenirs, tell me what you need. First natural grocery. Take your time. The label on his shirt says Delvin. Sounds familiar. And looks familiar. Oh. My. God. Is that the latest model of electric flashlight? Yes, but it's not for sale. I use it when I have to go into the warehouse. The power is out back there. You don't come from around here, do you? Actually, no. What tipped you off? The way you look. So you noticed something strange about folk around these parts. Folk here have a peculiar look. I'm from Arkham. The store I work for has subsidiaries everywhere in New England. Unfortunately, I was sent here. Do you know the reason behind the peculiar look of the townsfolk? It seems to be some sort of hereditary progressive disease affecting the bones and skin. Maybe it's caused by their isolation from the outside world. You only ever see young people about town. Ever since I've worked here, I've never seen an elderly person. Perhaps the advanced stages of the disease force them to become shut-ins at home. I cannot even begin to imagine what they might look like. It's been about some months that I haven't even seen Barnabas Marsh about. I've only ever seen one man who does not bear the curse of Innsmouth on his face. I speak of the old drunk, Zadok Allen, but he is out of his mind. Yeah, he's, he's from, the, from the novel as well. Tell me about that crazy old man. His name is Zadok Allen. He likes to talk. He has many of his own crazy theories to explain this town and its folk. Sadly, nowadays he drinks way much more than he talks. What can you tell me about the townsfolk? Well... They are not talkative with strangers. I've noticed that. They never leave Innsmouth unless in the direst need, and they are not interested in any of the comings and goings of the outside world. And neither, it seems, is the outside world interested in Innsmouth. There's little to be interested in here. The townsfolk make their living from fishing, and their only recreation seems to be swimming. And everyone in town seems more than able to compete in that arduous sport. Really? This doesn't exactly look to me like the ideal location for a swimming tournament. They are very religious, though in a different way. What do you mean? They follow a cult called the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Tell me about the Esoteric Order of Dagon. I can tell you very little. Reverend Wallace of Arkham strongly advised me against attending the Innsmouth Church. He said that the strange ceremonies they perform there are not suitable for a Christian. It was not really all that difficult to follow his advice, actually. Nobody here talks about their religion, and I myself witnessed some outsiders ushered violently away for lingering in front of the church. I think I saw the church from the bus. It looked quite ominous to me. You got that right. I thought Wallace wasn't, wasn't in Arkham. Okay. Do you know anything about a refinery? There is an old abandoned factory near the swamps. I don't know what they did in there. Sometimes I walked by it on a stroll home. The entrance is shut tight with a chain. I swore that I heard strange sounds coming from inside. Maybe it was all in my head. Do you know anything about the Marsh family? They are one of the most famous families here, and probably the richest too. I don't know much about them. They are not seen around all that often. The old Barnabas Marsh used to come here with his chauffeur, but it's been some months since I saw him last. Was his chauffeur a huge guy with a black coat and hat? Yes. Rude and threatening too? Sometimes. It must be the same guy that threatened the librarian in Newbury. Ah, no, my brother nice. works there. I wonder how he is. Now uh, that you mentioned it, he hasn't called in a while. I'm sure he will. Soon ish. Do you know anything about the Devil Reef? I only know that it is a natural formation barely jutting above the waterline. It is located about a mile off the coast. You can see it from the piers, but you can also see it from a distance from behind the square, too. Regarding the marshes, they are one of the most fa 
What do you store in the warehouse? Mostly just some sacks of potatoes and flour, some chocolate boxes and soft drinks. Is there a huge demand for flour and potatoes? No, the folk around here seem to prefer canned food. Do you think the warehouse electrics will get fixed anytime soonish? Hard to say. I've tried calling the repairman for ages now, but his phone seems to be out of order. Uh, I suppose we need to fix the electricity. Chocolates? They must fly off the shelves. I doubt it. They're probably way past their expiration date by now. Do you think you'll ever sell those drinks? Leave off. They've been in there so long, they must be almost volatile by now. Not even considering the fact that most people only drink booze these days. It's been quite a while since I've had to go back there, now that you mention it. So if you really want the flashlight that badly, I'll let it go for two dollars. Here you go. Okay. See ya. I hope to see you soon. Canned foods. Mostly just household goods and kitchenwares. Hey, wait a minute. These papers are all way out of date. They don't even sell the Newsberry port here. Some tobacco items and soup. Fish. What a stench. A fresh catch by the looks of it. Apples, pears, bananas. The front page of the paper tells of the bat. You might find this interesting. Yeah. Check out the front page headline. Basher of Newburyport strikes again. Teen brutally bashed in an alley near. Wait a. Hold on, just a. That's my brother. Oops. Even with his face all messed up like that, I would recognize that shirt anywhere. Oh well. He probably deserved it. Brotherly love. Ah. <laughs> what? I do not want to talk to him. A weird toad-like figure. Despite the foul stench, the water seems very clear. Okay, that's a hint. It's the town hall's massive front door. They seem to already be closed for the day. Never! Exotic! Joe Sargent, the fragrant bus driver. An enormous fishing trophy. An anchor from some old ship, displayed ornamentally. So what's wrong with the door? Okay. Gilman, the owner of this hotel. Cute is the word furthest from my mind. <laughs> Excuse me? Didn't I just say that the next bus for Newburyport leaves tomorrow? Yes! Yes! Tomorrow! Yes! But... I really should be getting on my way to Arkham. Then you'll have to wait. Yes! Yes! Wait! There's something I need to take care of first. It will take about two hours. Yes! Yes! Two hours! At least! Okay, I'll take a stroll around your cozy little town for the meanwhile. See you later. Okay, let's go to the cursed door. Mm -hmm. 
seems friendly enough, yet keeps glancing at me sideways. I have no idea about the town's layout. I could get hopelessly lost. I have no idea about Closed. It's a lighthouse. I have no idea about the town's layout. I could get hopelessly lost. I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, so I can't go to the lighthouse yet. I have no idea. Okay, so we need a map or some some sort. Map. Okay, it's it's here. Some pixel hunting. Excuse me. I'd like to buy this map. Those are a dime. Here you go. Thank you. And remember, pay unless you can't, and then don't you even dare it. <laughs> it's a map showing points of interest. There is an old lighthouse to the north, a church to the east, and waterfalls and marshlands to the west of the square. Too far away. Too far away. Too far away. Too far away. Okay, so he doesn't. I forgot to give it. Too far away. Okay, so he doesn't want to. So this is the marshland. Okay, refineries this way. <laughs> Game over! <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a too too bright. They had water for. So you can actually trek trek around a bit. Nice. The bridge. I've noticed that qual quality of the graphics is slightly slightly varying. Huge hands and feet. I 
Vampire Devil Shreve over there. Ah, we found the Shadow Callan. Excuse me? Everyone blames Zadok. If only they knew what Zadok knows. Zadok's not crazy. Believe Zadok. They are not like you and Zadok. They're different. You don't believe Zadok, do you? <laughs> I want... Zadok knows how to keep his secret. Uh -huh. Don't pressure Zadok. Zadok can be trusted. You know, right? Zadok is out of whiskey. Oh, God. How could Zadok go on without whiskey? Zadok doesn't want to remember. Okay, so... We'll get this whiskey for him. This is actually interesting because Ch this second game we met Shadow Callan. First, first one was a Dark Corners of Third, which also was set in Innsmouth. And it's prohibit uh, prohibited. <coughs> so alcohol is. Uh, can uh, but not allowed. So I wonder where we are going to get whiskey. Let's talk to people. I want to buy whiskey. Psst. Yes, I'm wondering. Maybe do you have that? Um, <laughs> that very spirit of the party, <laughs> spirit the past, of the present, part. or the future one, <laughs> the distilled one. You know that's illegal, right? <laughs> really? Since when? <laughs> Since about seven years ago, when all drinks over 0.5% alcohol were banned under the Prohibition Act? Interesting. <laughs> yeah. I can pay, and I wouldn't talk. We can't serve such needs here, but I have heard rumors. I'm listening. In the swamp area, there is periodically a coming and going of little boats. Some say they are smugglers. Be careful. They are not the kind of people you would wish to meet in a dark alley. Okay, so now we can get to the door. I can't open it. Better not. I can't open it. A solid door. I forgot to get it. That wouldn't help. I can't. <clears throat> A solid door. I'm I'm going through all all the options here. Open door. I can't open it. Okay. I can't. It's locked. Okay, it's locked. We, at least we can go north from here to the alley. Okay, so this is another alley. Go to the church. Okay, church road. I, I'm I'm totally lost because this doesn't resemble at all uh, in smoke like it was uh, portrayed in uh, Chaosium's Call of Cthulhu uh, source book, and uh, that was pretty faithfully based on the H.P. Lovecraft Shadow of Innsmouth. So uh, <laughs> this is not quite. Can't. You can't do use any of those. I cannot open it. Better not. Better not. Rubbish pile. Yes. Look at the rubbish pile. A pile of rubbish. There's a broken gramophone in the pile. Maybe its horn could come in handy. Horn. Uh, 
explored every in the last nook of each one. Okay. Okay, and you can go around this way. That wouldn't help. <laughs> YMCA's <laughs> key doesn't work with, 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 the, with the church door. That wouldn't help. Flashlight amplifier. That wouldn't help. I have the light, but it seems I need a matching sound and something to amplify it with. It looks like a small speaker is in the compartment. I'll take it. Okay, so it, it, it didn't, didn't tell me before. Okay, maybe we can comp combine this. I got it wrong, I guess. Uh, curses. I got it Come wrong. Come on. Was that it? Did I do whatever this was? <laughs> Damn it. I so wanted to patent that. <laughs> that was... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not a fan of Morse coding. I mean, I mean... I'm not really good at that at all. So that was kind of, kind of painful. Oh, hello. So, you finally arrived. Years I've been waiting. I never imagined they would send someone so young. What does the cat say at midnight? Meow. Meow. Be gone. You are not one of us. But... Be gone. Okay. Too fan about. What do you want? Can't you see we be talking? We don't want to be disturbed. Get lost. I'm not making myself clear enough? Please do not want to be disturbed! Could you be coming over here? Sure. What were you talking about? Be coming just... 